What's up guys, today's video is on the top 5 best laptops for video editing in 2021. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that will meet the needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price, performance, or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment and do not forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. If you're looking for a decent quality product that will do the job at the lowest possible price, we've singled out the Dell G515 for you, the best budget laptop for video editing on the market in 2021. The Dell G515 features the 10th generation Intel Core i7 as well as a 15-inch screen with NVIDIA GTKS GPU. This model includes 8GB of DDR4 memory with an SSD storage of 512GB. On the front side, you'll be greeted with a full HD screen with LED backlight and an anti-glare panel. It rocks the brightness of up to 300 nits and a refresh rate of 60 Hz. The sleek and discreet chassis has 12-zone lighting and plenty of ports, including HDMI, USB 3.2, 3.5mm port, Thunderbolt, and an Ethernet port. However, what really catches our eye about this line of laptops is the independent graphics memory NVIDIA GTKS 1650Ti, which is strong enough to drive a variety of modern video games, as well as deliver the goods on the video editing front. This laptop has access to the Alienware Command Center, which is a nice touch. Furthermore, the battery is strong, but if you're doing some serious video editing, it's best to do your whole thing while on the charger. In total, you can expect about 10 hours of operation on a single charge during regular use. The independent NVIDIA graphics card will facilitate design, editing, 3D rendering, streaming, content creation, gaming, and much more. The device delivers a full HD resolution of 1920x1080 and sports an attractive, lightweight, slim design. The Dell G515 comes in elegant black and has the size of 24 by 14 by 4 inches as well as a weight of 6.6 .6 pounds. For the listed price, consider us thoroughly impressed. The next product on our list for today is Microsoft Surface Laptop 315, which deservedly took the title of the best value laptop for video editing that can be found on the market in 2021. One of the things that surprised us is the remarkable design. Also, the hardware configuration is pretty solid for this price range, featuring an AMD processor for the first time. The AMD Ryzen 5 3580U with 4 cores and 8 threads. It works at 2.1 GHz by default. The 15.6 inch screen also has a 3 to 2 aspect ratio that is widely used by the company's laptops. This means we can enjoy a very wide vertical resolution of 3000 by 2000 pixels, which is fantastic to work with when doing video editing. And it also affects the design of the equipment. The keyboard area has plenty of vertical space, which makes the touchpad fit it quite nicely. The keyboard is great to the touch, with a light and almost pleasant sound that serves as a companion to the tactile response. As noted, the construction of the Surface Laptop 3 is outstanding. We are looking at a solid and robust chassis, maybe even too robust for some. The Surface Connect 65V power adapter that comes with the Surface Laptop 3 has a USB port for charging, not only the computer but also a mobile phone or a tablet if we have a cable on hand. Another key piece of equipment is the battery, which according to Microsoft has an operating capability of 11.5 hours. Furthermore, the 65 volt charger manages to take it to 80% in less than an hour. At 3.4 pounds, this is not a light device, but it's still easy to transfer from one place to another thanks to good construction. The input and output devices match perfectly. The screen is, as always, the highlight of the series, a great finish without too much brightness. The touch screen can be used in a variety of scenarios, so many users are certainly welcome to this option. When dealing with multimedia, this fella is outstanding. For the listed price, you cannot beat this one. The next product on our rundown is the Razer Blade 15. Delivering a top-level performance and features, this guy took the title of best performance laptop for video editing that you can find on the market in 2021. This is truly one of the best devices in this field right now, balancing power, price, portability, and what matters to most, good performance and style. Blade 15 is a thin and light laptop that has a high-resolution screen of 15.6 inches, along with full HD resolution at 1920 by 1080 pixels and a refresh rate of up to 240 hertz. 
The device includes a premium NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 graphics card and a very powerful Intel Core i7-9750H 6-core processor to help you get the most out of your video editing work. 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD will deliver outstanding system-wide response and high speed with Windows 10 Home Operating System already installed. The graphics card features an advanced Turing architecture for graphics-intensive games or graphics-intensive video work. The graphics card, combined with the state-of-the-art 9th generation Intel Core i7-9750H 6-core processor, will provide a seamless experience. The image is flawless and you will thoroughly enjoy working on this screen. In addition to high performance, the Blade 15 utilizes an advanced cooling system that ensures efficient cooling even at maximum loads. You will also be impressed by the high-quality keyboard with built-in Razer Chroma RGB lighting, which allows you to perfectly adjust the lighting effects. The laptop has a modern USB-C high-speed Thunderbolt 3 input and can securely protect your data with Intel Platform Trust technology. The Razer Blade 15 comes in elegant black and has the size of 13.98 by 0.78 by 9.25 inches, as well as a weight of 4.69 pounds. If you're all about that high performance, we say go for it. The following product on our review list will be of particular interest to all Apple fans. It is the almighty Apple MacBook Pro 16, also known as the best Apple laptop for video editing that can be found on the market in 2021. The new MacBook comes with a new keyboard, the Magic Keyboard, an improved performance, and also includes a new sound system with six stereo speakers and offers a new 16-inch screen, by far the largest retina screen built into a MacBook. We are also looking at an IPS panel with 500 nits of brightness and a resolution of 3072 by 1920 pixels for a total of 5.9 million pixels and density of 226 dpi. Apple delivers a bright and vivid experience and will also allow us to adjust the refresh rate to our choice from the system settings and adapt to the type of content we display on the screen. The keyboard is another major element of the laptop and in addition to the touch bar, there is also a 16-inch MacBook Pro with the new Magic Keyboard, inspired by iMac and iMac Pro keyboards. The mechanism has been modified after criticism of the old butterfly keyboard and the keys now offer us a stroke of 1mm and the escape key returns. With the new scissor structure of the keyboard, Apple promises that typing on a laptop will be much more stable than on previous models. The MacBook's cooling has also been redesigned, offering a ventilation system that promises to improve airflow by 28%. In terms of storage space, the 16-inch MacBook Pro starts at 512GB but can go up to an impressive 8TB SSD memory if you're up for it. On the inside, we find the latest 9th generation Intel Core processor. In terms of video editing, this fella delivers a premium level performance and can tackle a variety of demanding tasks with ease. To top it all off, Apple does the good while remaining lighter, quieter and more elegant than the competitors. If you can afford this one, it's worth every dime. Finally, we have reached the gold medalist for today in the title of the best laptop for video editing that can be found on the market in 2021. And the winner is Dell XPS 15. The latest generation of the 15-inch Dell XPS impresses at first sight with its minimalist design, huge touchpad and 4K resolution screen based on Sharp's IGZO technology. The outer parts of the case are made of thicker sandblasted and adenized aluminum while the sides are smooth and double adenized for higher level of wear protection. A small USB-C hub is supplied in the package with the laptop, which has an HDMI 2.0 output and USB 3.2 port. Namely, Dell did not bother with older types of USB ports on this laptop. So on the left side, we have two Thunderbolt 3, on the right USB-C 3.2 Gen 2 with support for power and screen connection, SD card reader, and TRRS headphone connector. Looking at the sides of the laptop, we can see that the speakers are located on the lower part of the laptop, but another pair was also added on the upper part of the laptop base. The 4-piece speaker system has been further enhanced with Waves NX 3D audio software, which until now was only available via headphones. The software takes care of creating virtual surround sound from any sound signal from your computer, be it music, movies, or games. Due to the 1610 aspect ratio, Dell calls this screen UHD+. It has a resolution of 3840 by 2400 pixels, which means that the screen offers additional space and height, important to photographers, developers, and yes, video editors. The screen offers a peak brightness of as much as 540 nits, 
With a contrast ratio of 1500 to 1, the sRGB color palette is completely covered. The interior of the computer is extremely well organized, and every cubic millimeter of space is used to the maximum. In this case, both SO DIMM slots are filled with 16 GB Type DDR4 memory. The maximum supported memory capacity is 64 GB. The lower third of the laptop's interior is occupied by an impressive 86 watt hour battery, which provides working autonomy in office applications for over 9 hours, with the screen brightness set to 190 nits. Given that this is a laptop with a 4K screen and a 45 watt high performance processor, this is an extremely good result. You wanted the best, you got it. Thanks for watching, and that's all for now. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you guys later.